Welcome to the AeroHive The More You Know video demonstration series. Hi, my name is Paul Avastor from AeroHive's Knowledge Services Department. At this time, I'm going to demonstrate how to get started with MyHive and Hive Manager Online. If you are using Hive Manager Online or ID Manager, you can access them both from your MyHive account. You start by going to myhive.arrowhive.com. Then you log in using the credentials that were emailed to you. From your MyHive account, you can access Hive Manager Online or ID Manager. If you do not have ID Manager for secure guest management, you can request a free trial. Now I will go to my Hive Manager Online instance. I will read and agree to the AeroHive end user license agreement. I'm a very fast reader. Here, the review inventory page is displayed. It provides a list of devices that you have purchased. If you have additional devices that you want to assign to this account, you can add the serial numbers of these devices after logging in to Hive Manager. From the Activate Your License page, I can see that my entitlement key has been activated. If you are emailed an entitlement key for more devices, you can add another entitlement key here. At this point, I will enter my Hive Manager Administrator password. Please make sure that this is a secure password. Now for the administrative mode, you have two options, Express Mode and Enterprise Mode. Express Mode provides a simple set of configuration components designed for managing access points and a single network. Enterprise Mode provides a complete set of configuration components for managing AeroHive access points, branch routers, and switches across one or more networks. If you are using AeroHive branch routers or AeroHive switches, you will need to use Enterprise Mode. For this network, I will use Enterprise Mode. By default, if an AP cannot access its default gateway, it can advertise a Virtual Access Console SSID that is secured with WPA2 Personal. The key that is used for that SSID by default is the same as the Hive Manager Administrator password. You can change that if you would like. Next, you can update the time zone for where you are located. I am in California, so I will choose that. And I can finish. All right, at this time I am now ready to start configuring my devices with Hive Manager. If you are following along, please be sure to power on at least one of your devices so that you can test the configuration once it has been created. I will now click Configure to take me to my Hive Manager configuration. Thank you for taking the time. Feel free to watch the other videos in the More You Know video demonstration series.